When the Delaware cows came into Athens to meet the Southern Ohio Copperheads, that means only one thing. It's time for a little cow tipping. But the cows quickly showed they would not go down without a fight. In the third inning, they scored two runs on a wide throw to first and another on a double steal of second base and home plate. It looked bleak for the Copperheads down by five, but the team knew they could not give up. It was just, you know, don't stop believing. Just like the journey song, you know, chip away little by little. Pitchers are going to keep us in there, and they did, they did a great job. And it was just, you know what, keep on fighting, and we know we have the, the sticks to drive runs in. In the sixth, Polarena made belief a reality, hitting the cover off of the ball for a three-run triple and scoring on an errant throw to third. Just stepping into the box, trying to get a, a good swing on the ball, trying to drive in one or two runs, and it turned out I got a real good swing on the ball, and got myself home also. The team's rally glasses were working. The home team tied it and the bullpen took it from there. Five relievers combined for six and one-third innings pitched, three hits and no runs. In the thick of it was Zach Botcher who says the team anticipated the importance of the pen. Coaching has said that before the game uh, relief pitching is going to be a big key in this game and they were. Uh, Robinson came in, started throwing strikes, getting some ground balls, easy outs for our defense and picked up our starter. Another five runs scored courtesy of the Snakes' superb pitch selection and base running. Seth Strike, Ryan Jones, and Wes O'Neill had nine of the 13 hits to help secure the 12-2 win and bring the Copperheads' record to 2-1. And, and after a second consecutive 12-run performance, the Copperheads' bats are just as hot as the summer heat. Reporting for Southern Ohio Copperheads, I'm Maddie Kuhn.